Hey everybody, just want to drop in and do a really quick kidney minute. You know, I went to the store this morning to buy a few things. Actually, I went for one thing, but you know how that goes. You end up coming out with a lot more stuff. Um, and since I've learned about the bioengineered ingredients, um, and genetically modified ingredients that's in a lot of our food, I'm trying to be more health conscious and and paying attention to those things whenever I am shopping for food for myself. So I actually stop and read the labels. I read the labels on everything. It may seem a little crazy, but yeah, especially if it's something that I haven't had in a while and I'm not confident of what the ingredients are in there because we may look at something and say, oh, this is just a simple cookie. Or this is just a simple whatever. But if we don't take the time to read the labels, you just don't know. Sometimes there are things in there that may cause an allergic reaction. They're putting new additives and foods all the time. Stuff that I've eaten since I was a kid. Now things are being prepared in a different way. And you really have to read the labels. Even on a pack of M&M's. You'd be surprised. Almost everything, almost everything in the store that I've seen has had um, some kind of uh, something mentioning that it's bioengineered, genetically mod uh, modified, or there's a ton of things on the ingredients list that I can't pronounce. And if my food looks like it's a science exper experiment, I don't want my body to become that science experiment. I want to eat stuff that I know, stuff that you can read and that you know what those ingredients are. And there's still some foods out there that are like that, that you can say, okay, I know what's in this. And you flip it open and you read eggs, milk, blah, 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 blah. So that's where I'm trying to be at because a lot of this processed stuff is really doing harm to our bodies um, and like the food is genetically modified, I don't want my body to become super genetically modified in that process. I know it sounds weird, but you remember back when they had the mad cow's disease and people were stopping, you know, eating beef and all of that. They were still drinking milk, still eating cheese. And in my mind, you know, if the cow's mad, isn't the milk mad too, you know, it, is it, are you telling me it's only affecting one part of that animal and not the entire animal? And we live in a world, in a society anyway, here in America, where everything gets kind of like mixed together. If you're having a hamburger, that hamburger may be meat from five, six, seven, ten different cows that were all ground up and processed together and put in that little package for you. You know, so it's a different world from how it was when I was a child. Sorry, I look kind of crazy. I got my hair pulled up in a ponytail and it's like sticking out all over. But hey, this is me. It's a rainy day and I was out doing my shopping. But I wanted, you know, just to share that with you. Something for y'all to think about. It's not like hype. It's not like something just to grab somebody's attention. I'm just trying to help somebody. Somebody that really wants to help. There's a lot of people out there with CKD, which is chronic kidney disease. Some know about it, many do not. But one thing that we can all do is make some changes in our lives so that we eat better and healthier food. I mean, and if you want a snack, you can still live a little. That's what my doctor said. He said, you know, you can still live a little. Your numbers are looking good. I can tell that you've changed how you're eating, but you can still live a little. So today, instead of getting the regular junk junk food that I would normally like to snack on, the things that I got in the habit of ha having year after year and on breaks at work or passing the, the vending machines or whatever, I tried to get something a little healthier. I got ginger snaps, which is something that I can have with a little bit of coffee because a little bit of coffee is okay. Um, just not going to the extremes and adding all kinds of processed stuff in there. But, you know, when I pick up the ginger snaps, I can read the back of the label and I know what all these things are. I know what molasses is and baking soda and ginger and 
cinnamon and cloves and chili powder, red pepper. I know what these things are. That's my mindset and that's the direction that I'm going in. And it's working for me and my health is improving and I'm hoping that other people may join that movement and do something good for yourself. Because who benefits when you eat a lot of processed stuff? The companies that you're buying from and the medical community and the pharmaceutical community. They benefit because they're getting to make extra money because you're eating any old kind of way. So just like they can benefit, you can make some benefits to your life by making different choices in the foods that you have or preparing your foods in a different way so that your body can handle that and process it better. Because as you get older, your body changes and what it's able to handle and not able to handle is a little bit different. Just like your hearing changes a bit when you get a little older. I mean, some people are born with hearing loss. Other people are just fine and, you know, they reach middle age or whatever. And they start experiencing he hearing loss or vision loss or needing glasses where they didn't need glasses. But this, what you put in your mouth. To help your body run like a whale oil machine, just like you, if you have a car, you want to put what the car needs so that it runs properly. You're not putting candy bars down the gas tank. You're putting gas in the gas tank. You're making sure it has a tune-up and the oil changes and all the things that it needs. This is the same thing with our bodies. Just making different choices. Trying out new recipes. So that you can still eat the things that you like, but eat it in a healthier way. And if you're making it home and it's healthier, it's going to taste better. Because you won't need all that processed gloop and preservatives and everything. Take care of yourself. So I know this ran a little bit long. Just wanted to share that today. Take care of yourself. And get some things together. We've got storms, we've got power outages. Um, this is still early in the year. And now is a good time to get your seeds if you are a gardener. You know, especially if you go somewhere where you can get four packs for a dollar. A lot of places is two or three dollars for one pack of seeds now. So look at what you're getting, where you can go to get it from. And try to prepare yourself for the season and for the year and make changes that will impact your life in a positive way. You have a great day and a great week coming up. And I'll talk to you again soon.